Hi. Yeah, for uh, this weekend's video, I wanted to get back into uh, sort of the conversation we were having about, uh, well, are we alone in the universe? You know, uh, a lot of uh, ideas floating around about uh, what's up there and out there. Well, first, I just wanted to uh, thank everyone for supporting me. And uh, I know uh, it's not easy on YouTube these days, but uh, we're hanging in there. So, like we were saying last time about aliens, like we, as a race, we are aliens. And many people agree with that fact. That uh, are there similar, you know, uh, groups of people out there that are like us and that are alien. Because as far as, you know, they say like, you know, green or blue Martians or whatever, or, you know, I say, I don't believe in that type of stereotype, you know, saying, okay, well, they're big headed and small bodied and this and that. There's no facts, nothing to back it. I would say it would be more similar to us. And as far as, well, technology goes, and, uh, like we can't scientifically get far enough towards like the edge of the universe to be able to see more of what's out there. We can only get like so many billion light years away. And that's, uh, that's about as far as we stand when it comes to technology. You know, they would have to invent some kind of, you know, space pod or something that wouldn't be physical. It would have to be more like, you know, like a, a generating frequency, a wavelength, something that would be, you know, like undestructible, that would be able to send out there, you know, like they have like the, the different types of lasers and this and that, the power it would take. But look, they make nuclear reactors and all these things. What would it be like in the movies, like if they made a nuclear spaceship, but generating off of, of, of a waveform and embedded in that waveform would be like this computer, you know, because I know we're close, but they're not, to my point of view, they're not going about it the right way. If they were to do that and have it in some kind of waveform, you know, and the computer would be able to have like a, a map, it would be, um, it would, it would, how can I say, it would learn as it advances at the speed it would be going, you know, even if it took 20 years or 30 years, you know, to get as far as we could and record everything on its way. Because, don't forget, the universe is alive. It's like a gigantic ocean which has various pools of oceans in the ocean if i'm putting my point out right it's you know 
totally always in uh, evolvement. The wave, the waves, the way they go. There's a wave and it's always moving. The universe is constantly always in movement. So, and that's generated, you know, by the black holes. The black holes are the motor. They're what makes the universe sort of spin, if you want. You know, it keeps everything in revolvement, in perfect harmony. But towards the edge of the universe, if we want, there's, like I would say, like a mega gigantic black hole, if you want, like to say that's, that's what I would say would be like the edge of the universe. And as it turns, as it evolves, you know, it's eating up, you know, planets, stars, it's just chewing up everything because that's what keeps it alive, if you want. That's what generates the power. And eventually, like, you know, when we have the Big Bang Theory, you know, everything just boom. You know, the amount of energy that it created by swallowing up the whole universe and all the planets and the galaxies and the universes within the universe you know, that's what caused the explosion and recreated a whole new system, a whole new solar system, and galaxies upon galaxies that, that grew. So that's what happened when it was the Big Bang Theory, you know, and to say, like, if... You know, we were created then, and if dinosaur, dinosaurs and all that were created, it's true in a sense, but did we exist in some type of life form before that? You know, it's, it's controversial, because I know people have told me, they've said, look, look, Ray, you know, at one time we were bacteria, but I say, yes, okay, we were a type of bacteria. We all start that way. We're all carbon base formed, as everyone knows, but different types of carbon, if you want, or atoms, we're all unique. Every life form is unique to that type of carbon atom base form. So there's nothing stopping us from saying that there's something else out there. The only thing is we can't reach it, you know. These are all things that, you know, I've looked on, upon, or, you know, studied or researched. I don't get into the big, heavy you know, uh, mathematical or, you know, all these scientific, you know, research details, because we could go on for years talking about this and what has been done. We know. We know what's been done and what they're doing. We know what's up there. You know, we can see, we live. You, you just lift your head up and you look at the stars, you know, and what, what, what they've told us so far about the planets and what's happening on the planets and Mars and going to Mars. Look, honestly, don't waste your time on Mars. If they're going to Mars, it's because there's a reason. It's either for money or politics or whatever. It's because there's something up there you know, that maybe they could use, 
you know, there's a sort of type of mineral or gold or whatever, or uranium or plutonium or whatever, you know, who knows? But anyways, you know, I would say invest your money more on that sort of spaceship, like I said, that they could sort of build, you know, to find out. Because then, you know, if we were to have or find a more advanced civilization out there, maybe we could recreate it. And that's like all the ideas that have come out of movies or scientists or Na NASA, all these things that have been reported, which is true in a sense, but there's no proof yet as we know it. Anyways, if we're, or if we are the most intelligent life form uh, in this universe, how come we can't be more, you know, to be able to do what I'm saying, like to be able to create new technologies, like better technologies and, you know, things that would help us on our planet as is. Because if we were to do that, we would be a better society. These are thoughts that go through my head like 24 seven. I'm always thinking of something else like just to leave you on a short note. Okay, they go like they say, if we're gonna go live on Mars and build like this, you know, this space station on Mars and all this, how come they just don't go on Mars and dig underground and make like a, a city underground on Mars? You know, look, they 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 get if they can build a space station and say like, like to be able to bring it to Mars, but just get the necessary equipment, send it to Mars, and start digging, and make a civilization a civilization underground. That way, if we are to move onto that planet or whatever, there would be also like already something started that would be uh, habitable, you know, that we could live there. So anyway, these are just my crazy ideas for the weekend. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, I got my space shirt on. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go to space, but I can't because I'm claustrophobic. I wouldn't be able to survive I would, if I was on a spaceship, I would open a window or a door and just jump out. That's, no, I wouldn't be able to take it. So I gotta stay on this planet. Yeah, so anyways, you all take care. I'm gonna be bringing out another video when I get a chance on uh, inner therapy again, because I've had like, people seem to, you know, need, this type of video to help them relax from what I've heard and I'm working on that right now because the last video I did the video quality was like yeah no good so I'm working on that too so take care love you and be catching you on my next video bye for now bye